Hi guys, OB Dave here. And I am Ash. Together we are OB Dave and I am Ash. Yeah. It's true, isn't it? It is, it is. It's quite nice. Quite like it. <laughs> Roomies. Roomies, We have been yeah, now yeah. for <clears throat> probably about three weeks, four weeks now. It just feels normal. You're living there. Yeah, I was about to say, are you sick of me yet? No, nowhere yeah. near. Nowhere near, honestly. I was... I was out looking at pickups today because obviously I talked about this on the office blokes. I'm changing vehicle since I'm changing industry. Um, we had a good old chat about you driving over the uh, the Woodhead Pass back from old Yorkshire land. You didn't mention this when you got home. I don't feel the need to talk, tell you everything. <laughs> well, tell That's me. what I said is so great. I said I mean, it's really great because she doesn't feel that I need to tell her everything. <laughs> so don't ruin it. I know your dad loves me, so it's all right. Does. Love's a strong word. He likes, <laughs> he like, likes, he likes you a lot. <laughs> anyway, right. We've done a little bit of Family Guy and it's gone down pretty well. Yeah. And we established that you have watched probably up to like some of season six, was it? Probably, maybe? yeah. Probably along those um, lines. Probably a little bit of season seven and nothing further than that. Yeah. So that means there's loads to react to. Um, I stopped watching it at a certain point. So there's loads that I've not seen of the newer stuff. Okay. Um, yeah. What so, about South Park at some point? Because I also stopped watching at a certain point. As well. I have not watched South Park for years. And really? I absolutely love it. But because it was on Comedy Central, which I don't have. Yeah. And then I don't know what streaming service it's on. Some of it was on Netflix, but none yeah. of the latest stuff. I've had no way of watching it. No. See, I, 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 I love South Park and I love it like almost as much as a friend of mine. And we had a running joke about Towley to a point where. I know a few of you guys uh, follow me on Instagram and obviously you guys know I love my crochet. You see my wall in the background, kind of, at the moment. And um, I made him a crochet bong in the colours of Towley. Towley, And nice. then when I handed it to him, I said, no, you're a bong. <laughs> I was going to do howdy ho then, but that's no, Mr yeah. Hanky. Yeah, so that's sure how long it's been since I watched it. Because <laughs> Towley you know always what? goes, it's like, no, you're high. No, you're high. No, you know, you're high. You know what we should do is when there's a new season of Family Guy, uh, sorry, uh, South Park, we should watch it week on week when it comes out for Patreon. Yeah. And Dave was suggesting that we run a competition for something I crocheted. Um, I make pretty cool stuff. Yeah, yeah. I, that's could, a, yeah, I could do yeah, a crochet yeah. bong. I mean, <clears throat> that'd be pretty funny, actually. Comment below what I should do a crochet version of. It's yes. got to be within the realms. It can't be like something ridiculous. I know, yeah. Like, like some people are amazing and they do like actual caricatures. I, yeah. I can't do that. You're, but I've, you're, I've done you're really one. good. I yeah. Mean, I but uh, comment below, and then yeah. we were talking about doing a competition where you know someone can win something that Ash is handmade. Yeah. With love. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and we're doing full episode watch alongs of oh, Always Sunny in Philadelphia, Philadelphia on Patreon now. I've seen it all a million times over, but Ash has never seen it. We've done one episode so far. It's coming out this weekend, coming up. Yes. And I'm not going to tell you how it went. So there no. you go. Right then, Family Guy roasted everything black. Oh, oh dear. I like how you don't read the titles before. <laughs> you just well, wait no, for reasons to come I, out. Yeah, the absolutely. Why, and, why should I? Your well, job. let me do it. It's fine. Let me do the heavy lifting. Uh, right, then, are you ready? I think so. Family Guy roasting everything black. I was brought up on the streets, no moms and dads. I had to fend for myself with my own two hands. But today I'm hurt, and I'll tell you why. I got a hangnail. Hangnail. Hanging from my cuticle, a hangnail. Hangnail. It ain't beautiful. It hurts like a bitch that I did last night. I'd have to pretend not to notice people's race day. Have hey, you seen Reggie around? Which one is Reggie? Uh, he's got a gold tooth, a uh, diamond earring. Um, he's got that big necklace with a dollar sign on it. Uh, he's always grabbing his crotch when he's telling a story. Like the one about when he found out his mother is really his grandmother. Uh, he always wears cheap cologne. Uh, never pays his alimony. Uh, he's extremely cut for a guy who never works out. Oh, there he is. Thanks anyway. <laughs> hey, Reggie! <laughs> in Germany. Look, there's the Black Forest. We gonna take the whole family on vacation this summer. The ten of us gonna load up the Impala and head on down to Hot Atlanta. Hey, I heard that. Hey, thanks for the tip on that check cashing place. I was in and out with one ID. You know my boy is out on bail next week, right? Man, it seems like yesterday he was in juvie. Guys, we should go to that auction tomorrow and buy it. I mean, can you imagine if we had our own medieval castle? I bet it'd be even more fun than when I went to White Castle. I just have to, sorry, pause. I, I was trying to find the points. Did you see that name? That was it. Chever Rooker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've noticed that before. Yesterday he was in juvie. Guys, we should go to that auction tomorrow and buy it. 
I mean, can you imagine if we had our own medieval castle? I bet it'd be even more fun than when I went to White Castle. Huh. Name's a little deceiving. <laughs> that truck's coming up on us awful fast. Holy crap! Do you see what I see? I'm afraid I do. We're being chased by ghosts! And nothing to console <laughs> me but the screaming black dolphins. Man, that dollar's getting all over town. <laughs> yeah, like your mama. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dang. Oh, man, you know I'm just playing. Hey, man, you seen that movie, The Cove? The Cove? How you just gonna be talking about The Cove? I mean, I saw the movie, but I was like, oh, Oh, honey, I'm so excited to finally meet your girlfriend. Here she comes now. Yoo-hoo, baby! Oh, no! All right, let's check our YouTube <laughs> channel and see how we're doing. Boy, they just went right after Cleveland, didn't they? Geez, that word looks even harsher when it's in all caps. This company's gonna make it on my ideas. Here are the products we'll be unveiling in the new fiscal year. The African-American Heart Monitor. Yeah. 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 Oh, he did. <laughs> really are. It's old man Barney Frank. And I would have gotten away with it, too, if it weren't for you meddling Republicans. Thanks for all your help, Globetrotters. That was a cold swish. Put her there. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Do you guys want to see a dead body? Cleve, it's 1955. Please re-enter the clubhouse in a more stereotypically animated fashion. Lord almighty, I done see me a dead body down by the lake. Sure enough, I thought I'd go deep and dumb when I saw me that dead body. Cleve, calm down. You're not making any sense. If I were you, I'd keep your mouth... That's pretty much what Cat Williams was talking about. It is it? exactly what he was talking about. That is hilarious. I love that, like, Family Guy get it as well. Yeah. I actually think, because then they did the Cleveland Show spin-off, I think Seth MacFarlane enjoyed doing the this sort of humour a little bit too much. Maybe. And had to, like, Go, spin it okay, off a little bit. it was to, just yeah. a joke. Yeah, yeah. Not insinuating anything about Seth MacFarlane, no. by the way. I'll shut till you talk to a lawyer. I didn't kill anybody. James Wood. God, is this what black people see all the time? You know, I usually don't come to funerals. Since I'm a cop, I always wind up getting hit by a black woman with a purse. You find the man who uh, did this. Ma you what's bring your him relationship to, to Brian? You make sure this Are angel sure child right didn't funeral? die for nothing. Ma'am, Brian's a dog. Why you became a cop. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, Lois, what are your parents doing here? Oh, they surprised us with a visit after I told them about your recent discovery. Yes, Peter, we hear you're a Negro now. Yep, oh. I even got my own posse. Hey, uh, Big Dog, T-Bone, Shades, uh, you guys go make yourself some sandwiches. We'll hook up later. My jacket's in the kitchen. Please don't write on it. The same way Paula Dean got her cooking show taken off the air. By saying the one word you can't come back from. What? Say the word? Right now? Yeah. Bird. Together. The bird's the word. Ready? You bet. <gasps> you could have just quit the show. <laughs> Uh-oh. Hey, you're that black guy I saw in the news conference, ain't you? Oh, uh, yeah, that's me. This is car 15. I'm going to need backup. I've got a stolen vehicle here. But this is my car. Suspects are getting belligerent. What? Officer down. <laughs> well, we did it. That's like such a dark humor. It's so sad. It? So, <laughs> so horrendous, especially like after the um, murder mystery makeup that we watched. With, oh, yeah, um, with Moira. Ba no, oh, but, yeah, Bailey, Bailey Siri. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and like, yeah, that one little town that is well known to be racist and this poor black lady just... You, right, you should always obviously be respectful of cops and yes. follow instructions and, and things like that. But I've heard like a few sort of black Americans talk about the fact that when they were born, that oh, not when they were born, when they were getting older, their dad had a word with him and said, well, if you ever get pulled over by the cops, you have two hands on the wheel, you look forward, don't make any sudden movements. And, just, and it was like, it's crazy that you'd have to say that. Obviously, to, Yeah, to keep your kids safe. It's ridiculous. It's mad, have you isn't it? seen the movie Crash? <laughs> Can't remember. So it's the storyline is basically it, you follow individual people that have their own you know lives separately, and right. then it ultimately ends up that they all cross paths, and then there's a big 
thing at the end where they really come into contact in a really serious situation right. and it shows like true nature of people and one of the scenes involves obviously two white cops taking advantage of a young black couple uh, couple yeah and it's dark in the sober room uh, it, I, I, you need to see it because I, I i can't say anymore because it gives away too much but it's the later on when they they cross right. paths again and it, it's it's serious and the, the white cop actually reconsiders his his stance and he's like holy shit I actually caused that sort of thing. If you guys have seen Crash, you know what I'm talking about. You t- like, I think I've seen more movies than you. I told you, I wanted to be a film critic at one stage. The young teenage I'm me. so thought, glad that you're not a film critic. We couldn't be together <laughs> if you're a film critic. Look I, at Rotten Tomatoes scores versus, um, like, the audience score versus critic score. I know. Critics don't know what they're talking but about. But it was teenager, artistic me that was like, artistic I'm going to be... You. We actually made a movie. Yeah, I don't want to call this a movie. We made a film. We made a film, guys. Here we go. This is garbage. I'm just happy for a night out. Ugh, listen to these lyrics. I rip it hardcore like porno flick bitches. I roll with groups of ghetto bastards with biscuits. Oh, look, they got a translation for white people. I give 110% when it comes to helping my community, even though I occasionally associate with some less than reputable characters. All right, all right. So as I'm chilling in Verona when my homie busts out with, Yo, Romeo, check out that biatch Juliet in the window. Problem is, Juliet's peeps are like East Coast rappers, and my posse's representing West Side. Just like my boys Tupac and Biggie, know what I'm saying? Ew. That's racist, man. Yeah, that's just straight ignorant, dog. Yep. He's obviously, he was trying to teach, I think I've seen that episode, and he tries to make, you know, connect with them. Yeah. Like those it, movies with, uh, is it Sandra Bullock or Julia Roberts? Have you seen Dangerous Minds? No. That, that's the, what, that is the absolute classic. I think it's... I've gone blank now. I'm going to have to Google who the, who the main woman is. She's a huge actress and she gets a job in a inner city school and sort of deals with... It's such a classic movie. It's what the song Gangster's Paradise is from. Is it the one that... It is Sandra Bullock. Maybe I do know it. I don't think it's Sandra Bullock. But we'll it find, we'll find out at the end. It, yeah. Peter, what are you doing? Crack. What the fuck? Hey, at least I'm not drinking, Brian. Yeah, this isn't exactly a good substitute. Where'd you get crack? From Black's. What? Yeah, right behind Black's hardware store. There's a white guy selling it. Briss, you can't join the <laughs> army. You're too young. Besides, the army's weak. Now the Marines, those are the men you want to f***. Are you kidding, Lois? The army's great. You get to save money for college, there's free food, and all the brown people you can rape. Peter, where are you going? Last day on Earth, last chance to do this. I'm going into the inner city and I'm going to yell the N-word. <laughs> They respected me for saying it. <laughs> Coming to selfie to Bonnie and Donna. Rose, bitches! Don't hit Sam! Please don't, Please hit, don't Sam. hit Sam! And send! You son of a bitch! Uh, oh, no! I told you! <laughs> what did he do now? He don't listen to you! He don't listen to you! What, you dating that guy? It's just a lot to take in. Oh, yeah? <laughs> You're telling me. Oh, come on. Those kinds of jokes aren't helping. Well, what do you want me to say? You're being silly. I mean, Jerome and I dated over 12 inches ago. <laughs> <laughs> What did I just say? <laughs> you know, you shouldn't be poking around out here. White men have been spotted nearby, laying traps and forming slow-pitch softball leagues. Well, whatever makes them happy. Live and let live, that's what I say. And I'm sure that's what they say, too. Hello, I'm Cleveland from South Carolina. Wow, you're a different color than me. Would you like to be equals? We now return to Rodney, King of Queens. Rodney, did you take out the trash? Oh, uh, I forgot. <laughs> oh no, she didn't! Hey, Stewie, they got. Stewie? Oh my god, he's gone! Has anyone seen my son? Hello? Hey, it's the crows from Dumbo. Hey, you guys seen my son? Well, I done seen about everything, but I sure enough ain't seen your boy no how. Ah, that's good old fashioned family racism. Um, he nailed it. Good old fashioned racism. I never considered these things until I was quite a lot older because like, when you're a kid and you watch things yeah, you, you just take them as characters that's it you don't you don't make the connection it was later on and it's like i think i told you when i 
<laughs> downloaded um, Disney during lockdown because yeah. you got free, three months free trial and the Mandalorian was starting. And I went through and watched all the old cartoons. Peter Pan is incredibly racist. The one song when they go meet, um, obviously, the Native Americans. Yeah. Did you play me that? I, I did. I think you did, yeah. It's, it's dark. It's like when I, I was sat there like, oh my God, I do not remember this as a kid at all. Yeah. It races <laughs> through my childhood. I, I realistically, though, the whole world was. Oh, yeah. Up until the re- recent history. I know, which is terrible. Because like, when people sort of go back and try and cancel people like Winston Churchill because they said things that nowadays are classed as racist. Yeah. And you go, well, actually... It's a different I'm era. I'm sure everyone in the 1940s and 50s was saying... That and that was just... It doesn't make it right. No. And we've progressed it's an, on it's from It's an it. explanation, not an excuse. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, we shouldn't be dragging up the past because the, the those situations have resulted us in us realising that there's a problem. Yeah, getting better. Yeah. So you need the bad to get good. Otherwise, it's never going to change. I think we're tribal. And if it wasn't colour, it's religion. And if it's not religion, it's, it's sex or sexuality or mm. like whatever. We'll always find something. Always. Excuse me, hi, yeah, is, is there like a human resources guy we could talk to? Um, I have a work-related grievance. What? Well, the quarters are too crowded, the hours are long, and, uh, you know, I don't like to be this guy, but a couple of the overseers have been making racial slurs. Hey, cats, is everybody cool? Sammy Davis Jr.? What are you doing up here? Whatever Frank tells me to do, man. Hey, Sam, get back in here and carry my golf clubs. Yes, boss! Ah, uh, ha, ha, ha. Seems kind of racist, doesn't it? No, no, because cause Sammy's in on it. Okay. But he's still carrying the clubs. Hey, Cleveland, I just wanted to give you a heads up that Peter has a whip because, well, you know, given your racial heritage, it seems like something you might want to keep an eye out for. Grape soda, Graham. I know this is very risky, but the upside is so good, I'm taking it. <laughs> you know, Cohog Estates is a very exclusive neighborhood. I got an invitation to go to the mayor's house. Uh Uh-huh. So you're telling me if I ran these plates, they'd come back clean? Absolutely. Hold the attitude. You all remember the plan. We walk up wearing our Bill Cosby masks. Peter, that's President Obama. Oh, did I just do a racism? (laughs) That's a great idea. Let's go to... Oh, dear. Hello. Every time I try and say either Whoopi Goldberg or Oprah Winfrey, I say the wrong one. But I get George I struggle Clooney. Struggle to differentiate and, him as people. But I get George Clooney and um, what's the other one? There you go, Brad Pitt. No. Leonardo DiCaprio. No, the same era, George Clooney and. Oh my God, it's gone. Barack but I, Obama. No, but I literally, I think between these two, I always just go, "Oh, it's, it's George Clooney." It's like, no, it's not. <laughs> Harvard. Oh, I don't know, you guys. We'll be as out of place there as a black guy in Sweden. <laughs> black and sipping. Yeah, black and sipping. We're not the first people to be dragged off against our will. Are we there yet? No. Are we there yet? No. Are we there yet? Damn it, I swear to God, I will turn this ship around. That works. Okay. Can we teach us a lesson? Yeah, that's even better. All right, if that's what you... Wait a minute! <laughs> oh, there, mailman. Me? No, the other black guy in shorts. Yes, you, here. Well, you, sir, are a racist and a rude one at that. So, you're not a mailman? Okay, yes, I am a mailman, but these are my 1983 Maurice Cheeks shorts. Well, I thought it'd be good to get out of the house. I don't like the kids being around that racist sunflower that's grown in our yard. Hey, boy, don't you come walking by this house. You're ignorant. Yeah, but, excuse me. I'd like to say a couple of truths to the men in this audience. It's your fault we have so much crime in this country, and it's your fault we have so much violence in this country. Yeah. No. Nothing is yeah. ever as innocent as it seems. Atta boy, Ope. I was thinking of writing an article about you for my school paper. It's fucked up, isn't it? So dark. <laughs> so, so dark. Do you charge black guys more or less? Mm, that's a hard question to answer. Most of them get a group rate. Come on now, let's not talk about work. Ah, jail is in prison. Prison is big and scary. A jail is just a sleeping deputy with keys that can be grabbed by a long broom handle or a mischievous dog. Do black people ever go to jail? No, they go to prison. 
I must say, I do feel a strange satisfaction watching the black ball topple all those self-righteous white pins. Can't blame them for being self-righteous. The black ball's in their neighborhood uninvited. The black ball's done nothing wrong. If the black ball's innocent, it has nothing to fear. What the? I think that's just a cat at the end. Okay. Yeah. yeah literally I weird. Just... Family Guy are absolutely genius at just bringing out really dark stuff in a humorous it's, way, aren't it they? It's so dark and so funny. It's like, I, I'm always so shocked, but to see it all at once, I think it makes it worse as well when it's just like back to back. So do you remember Rodney King was, his beating was the thing that kicked off the LA riots, which was the rooftop Koreans thing we yeah, watched the other yeah. day. Yeah. I thought Rodney King of Queens was quite clever. And, it, yeah. It's not very clever, it's but not, it's funny. It's dark. Really. <laughs> There you go. I'm burped. Sorry. It's okay. It's just funny. I mean, I love Family Guy. I do. I really do. I I've... do. I think it tailed off a little bit, and then American Dad got better at one point. I haven't seen I do, American I Dad. I do think so. So I haven't seen it, so I'm, I don't know. I'm not up to date with Family Guy. I'm so far off. Well, we'll have to try and catch up with it. Yeah. Well, we hope you guys enjoyed that as much as we did, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Yeah, nice one.